Hello, welcome to Four Minutes Closer to God. My name is Doug. Wanted to ask the question, where in the Bible does it state that fallen angels are demons? That's what I grew up understanding. So whenever it said a demon was possessing somebody in the New Testament, I just took it to be a fallen angel. But that may not be the case. So if you were to look online, you would find many or most Christian uh, sites, websites, stating that demons come from fallen angels. And they'll give you reasons like Satan is in charge. He is the king, so to speak, over the demons. And he's king over fallen angels. So you would assume they are the same thing, but, but not necessarily. So if we go to Genesis 6, 1 to 4, we find that sons of God who are angels came to the daughters of men and took wives, cohab cohabited with them, and they had children who are the Nephilim. Nephilim are giants who became men of renown. And so this is a hybrid race of beings that God considered an abomination. The problem was that not only were human hybrids uh, running around, but also animal hybrids because the technology of these fallen watcher angels who came down with an oath on the top of Mount Hermon up in northern Israel, they stated that they would go in and do this abominable thing with humans and teach them to do other abominable things and also gave them technology like metallurgy and cosmetics and sorcery and drugs, pharmacia, those sorts of things. And so we have this race of beings that came, the Nephilim, would die off. And uh, part of it was a civil war between Nephilim who killed each other off, to much to the chagrin of the Watcher angels. And so when they died, they had no place to go. Their spirits were uh, lost between worlds, so to speak, and seeking a body. And so Angels, uh, holy angels and fallen angels do have spiritual bodies and they also take form um, that doesn't require them to inhabit somebody else's body or in the case of legion, the pigs on the hillside in Decapolis. And so we have angels who are giving rise to this hybrid race and that is where the demons come in. And so the demons are spirit beings who need a body. And so they are craving this uh, being inhabiting some flesh. And so that then uh, is an evil thing to happen to a person. And uh, some people accept it willingly and become demonically possessed on purpose, so to speak, and others are attacked. Um, and so we fend them off with the fiery who fend off the fiery darts uh, with the armor of God, and that sort of thing. And so because this is not represented in the Bible, we find it in Enoch, and that's Enoch especially 7 through 16. Well, why should we trust Enoch? That's apocryphal. He's quoted in Jude, Jude 14 and 15 quotes Enoch 2, and Second Peter makes allusions to things that are not in the Bible, but are in the book of Enoch. And so at least we get their authorization and stamp of approval on it and information that helps us understand where demons come from.